feel great about what's going to happen in the next couple days. I'm really, really optimistic, very, very hopeful, and overall, I'm happy. I've, I've had a very happy cycle. <music> What's up tribe and welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me again. If you are new here, then my name is Mariah and for the last 16 going on 17, we're like almost at 17 right now, months, my husband and I have been on a journey to conceive rainbow baby number one. Also, if you're new here, it might benefit you to catch up on some of my other videos just to get all caught up to speed. That way you know what's going on. And more than likely, most of your questions will already have been answered in previous videos. If you're a returning subscriber, then welcome back to arrive. I am so excited, like. So excited. Today is Saturday. Today is trigger day. I've never been so excited in my life to get a shot and I don't like getting shots, but I'm definitely excited to get this one. The RE told us to go ahead and trigger today. I know last time we were watching my OPKs as my cycle went on and she said that it didn't matter whether I triggered in the morning, first thing in the morning or late in the evening to just do it today. So I figured why not see what my OPKs are doing. So I actually have an OPK sitting here, which I'm going to show you guys. It's not positive and I'm going to insert a picture. So the darker line that you guys see is the control line. The slightly lighter one is the test line. Because the line is getting darker and it's getting closer to high, I've decided that we're gonna go ahead and trigger this morning. I wanna make sure that that ovulation is forced and all eggs are forced to release. Today, depending on when my follicles were growing, I should be at a size, I believe 21 and a 18. So like I said, I was actually planning on triggering this evening to just give my follicles even more time to continue growing. But since my OPKs are getting darker, I'm just going to go ahead and trigger this morning. My mom is actually still here and Jeremy is a little bit concerned about screwing this up. So I'm going to have her do the shot before she leaves. Her flight leaves in a couple hours. So I'm just going to have her go ahead and do the shot with me this morning. And then Jeremy can watch so he can get a little bit more comfortable because I can tell he's really uncomfortable with starting to do this and the last thing I want is him to like stab me at an angle to be honest with you. Don't get me wrong, I trust my husband, but if he can go ahead and watch someone else do it who's in the medical field and get a little bit better of an understanding of what to expect and where to place it, even though we went over all this stuff with the nurse, it's just easier sometimes learning by watching someone physically do it. So yeah guys, that's what we're gonna be doing this morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my mom. I'm waiting for Jeremy to get dressed you know he still has to finagle with his knee and his brace and everything so after he gets dressed and after I grab my mom we will go ahead and get started ah, I'm so excited for potential baby decks I'm so so excited and if I'm speaking low it's because we have family in the house still for the holidays so here we go I'm just playing. <laughs> don't be too happy because what did you say this morning I'm glad your mom's here because I don't want to screw it up yeah I don't want to be you know I'd like to see you. I'm going to make sure I see how it's done. You're a pin drop in here, man. It's so intense. <laughs> like, everyone just breathing. <sighs> yeah, that's it, the one. Yeah. Oh, I know. I was just going to, like, you know. Oh, oh, I didn't see that. Oh, okay. Sure, give me pe peace of mind. Not that I don't trust you. <laughs> So you can always draw it more and it just yep. go back. This way you don't have to worry about the air bubble. Yeah. Good job, Jeremy. You're learning. You're learning. I am learning. <laughs> <laughs> and this should dissolve pretty fast. Yeah, that's what they said when we were there, too. Just do it to us clear gently. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much clear now. Mm -hmm. You're good? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Is okay. it usually that white, like, foamy layer at the mm -hmm. top? Just mm -hmm. from it swirling. From swirling. Yep. Yeah, I'm good. So, this is the tricky part because mm -hmm. 
you gotta be well you're drawing it up so you'll be fine drawing it up yeah because you want to get make sure you get everything let me see look like one more drop yeah that one little drop don't want to come down it's okay so oh it's standing like it's a science experiment <laughs> <laughs> did you see any in the bottom right i can't see I think, I think you got it. You, yeah, I need I to move the valve. Oh, okay. Because I can't tell unless. No, I think that's <coughs> all. It is. Cause, but... Yeah. There's a the little drop coming on the needle. Yeah. Yep. It's something. <laughs> yeah, we just got to make sure. We got to be sure, sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and just to keep this throat so never to touch the paper. He ain't never gonna be touching <laughs> Yep, it's already in the chamber. Pull this off. Now this is the fun part. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! I don't know where I want to put this. I guess. Okay. Hello. I do that a couple times. Make sure you be focusing all the way. Let me prod in the area. Always <laughs> playing around. <laughs> See, that's why I really didn't want you to do it. <laughs> you be playing. So you always want to be like where you think a jean pocket would be. Yep, like and that's right what here. she told us yeah, the other day too. So clean from it inner to outer. And you clean. Don't fan. Just let the alcohol dry. And what you can do is like pinch the area to give yourself a, like a. Mm -hmm view of where you're gonna go. Yep. And you wanna go straight in. You don't wanna be like eh, 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 doing yep. that. Straight in. Right. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> and then you hold it for yeah. five seconds. Did you draw a face to make sure it was gonna work? You don't have to do that. That's not scientific. Oh, okay. She didn't tell us to do it either. It's just on the paper. Thank okay. You. And it's done. And it's yeah. done. Yay, go team. <laughs> Your reaction <laughs> <when she> <laughs> <laughs> Your reaction when you put the needle in, you were like, oh, I wasn't ready for that. You should have told because me Because it's a weird sensation yeah. when you don't expect it in your butt. How, how many times do you get a shot in your butt? Not often. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I know what to expect in my arm, but that is a weird sensation yeah. in your butt. That's okay. That's a, we're not going to be like one, two, three. That's yep. like making it like. Yeah, yeah exactly. That would, that would be Jeremy. Mm -hmm. One, two. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me try to pinch it again. Let me try to pinch One, so, two. So when you're. You don't want to be too far down because yep. you want to go right in there. the muscle. Yep. Yep. Yeah, not the meat. <laughs> <laughs> the muscle, not the meat. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. Thanks. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. scary over here. <laughs> Got scary over here. Drink it, dude. Not scared. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> I don't want to mess it up. Go team. Yay. Yay. <laughs> team baby dad can't. <laughs> so that wasn't that bad at all actually it was like more of a surprise than anything else it's not even that it hurt jeremy as you might have not seen or you might have noticed i know he was behind me a little bit and his head was behind mine but jeremy was kind of giggling a little bit and like trying his best to hold in his laughter because of my reaction apparently or at least that's what he said I think part of him was just a little bit like Ooh, about having the needle go in but at least now he knows if we ever have to do this again hopefully prayerfully we don't ever have to do this again but if we ever have to do this again at least he knows what to do now so i'm so glad that my mom was here that way she could go ahead and just kind of walk him through it step by step so he kind of knows what to expect in the future once again if we ever have to do that again and once again prayerfully we don't so i think what i'm going to do is in the next couple of days i'm going to go ahead and test out my trigger and i'll see what my temps do i'll update you guys once my obusense kind of updates with when i ovulated versus when i triggered hopefully those correlate really well but we will see and overall guys i feel really good i feel really really good i feel really like excited but at the same time like chill and calm and relaxed so it's all good stuff all good stuff okay guys so i am back and it's just the next day as i told you guys before i was going to go ahead and test out my trigger and instead of using the pregmates i'm going to use these really cheap tests like 
when I say cheap, I'm not sure how well they would work and how like reliable they would be as far as actually when it comes to testing for pregnancy. But I think for as far as testing out the trigger goes, these will be just fine. I got them off of eBay. I won them for like $1.25. They are probably like the clinical guard strips, but as you can see, maybe they're not because they don't even have like any type of brand name or or anything on them, but I'm sure they'll work just fine. The urine that I have here is not my first morning urine. I figured it wasn't even necessary to do my first morning urine on one DPT or day pass trigger because it's obviously gonna show up positive either way, no matter what time of day I do it because the trigger is still in my system. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and test it out and see how long it takes for that to leave my system. My guess is that it's gonna take between nine and 11 days, maybe like 10 days to go ahead and be fully gone. But let's go ahead and test and see. Oh my gosh, these strips are so flipping thin. I don't know how people do these all the time. That is so thin. Now I'm second guessing if I wanna use them or not, but I don't, I don't think I would wanna use these for actual pregnancy testing. So I think I'm gonna stick to using these. These are so freaking thin. Just to give anyone context, this is an ovulation test. So these are the thickness of the pregnant ones. This is how thin this other one is in comparison. It's literally like half the size. That's crazy. These also take, I think only five minutes. They say that you read the results within five minutes, but don't read them after five minutes. So it's like, what does that even mean? But yeah, here we go. Doesn't even tell you how long to dip it for. It just says, or allow the test strip and specimen to be at room temperature, remove the strip from the foil pouch, immerse the strip with the arrow facing downward into the specimen. Doesn't even tell you how long to dip it for. So we'll see. And this dog is already like doing weird things as far as dipping it's concerned. It's like already. Oh, I hate these. I hate them already. Yep, I legit hate them already. I'm gonna show you guys. That part of the strip should be fully white and it's not. But as you can see clearly, I have still, like I said, that HCG is still showing up in my system at one DPT. Ovulation should occur today. Today is cycle day 14. So ovulation should actually occur today. I'm just gonna be waiting on Obusense to confirm those with my temps, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen today. I took the trigger yesterday at 9.30 a.m. 36 hours after that would be following day at 9.30 p.m. So by 9.30 p.m. tonight, I should have ovulated. Those follicles should have released the eggs and we will have, you know, done the deed. So I'm gonna just come back on here in probably a couple days. I'll probably test every day, but I'll come back on here in a few days to just show you guys my progression as the trigger disappears. I am surprised that it is this light already. I thought it would be darker than this. So maybe it will disappear before I'm actually 10 DPT, which by that time, I think that would be what, like nine DPO if I wind up ovulating today but we'll see. I feel good though, guys. Like I feel really, really good. I feel really, really happy. I'm excited. I'm not feeling overwhelmed. I'm not feeling stressed out. I'm not even feeling anxious. I'm just super, 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 super excited for what this round is gonna bring. I think this is gonna be my successful round. So I'm really hopeful that it is. And aside from being hopeful, I'm just gonna claim it. I'm just saying that it is. This round is gonna be our successful round and it's only a matter of how many we get this round. It's not a matter of if we'll get them this round. It's just a matter of how many will implant this go around. So I will see you guys in a couple of days. Hey guys, so I am back. It is cycle day 22. I'm gonna go ahead and insert my chart like on this side. So if you're looking at my chart, my temps look really good so far, but Obusense is saying that I ovulated on cycle day 16, which was three days after the trigger. And with the trigger, I more than likely ovulated in between cycle day, it was between Sunday and Monday. So cycle day 14 and 15 at the very latest. Now, if you look at my actual chart, I'm pretty sure that cycle day 14 was the day. The temperature increase is really, really slight, but it's still an increase and that's still that three days in a row of increases. So I'm just going to stick with that. I ovulated on cycle day 14. I don't think that Obusense got it right this 
time around and I've had some other people look at my chart as well and they also agree that it's definitely not cycle day 16. So that's that's what we're going with and that's the update as far as my chart is concerned. Now as far as testing out my trigger is concerned, the trigger is still not out of my system. It might be when I test with you guys today but I'm just going to show you guys what my tests have been looking like as they've been trending down. As you can see they were really dark the day after and then got lighter, 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 lighter. Yesterday, this is yesterday's test, you can still see a faint line on there. These two I actually took on, I took one yesterday at cycle day 21 and the other one at cycle day 20. There's really no difference between the two of them. And I find it interesting that on the pregnate, you can't really see a difference between the two. They look exactly the same, but if you look at cycle day 20 and 21, on these cheapy tests. I still don't know the rand of them, but if you look at these two, you can see that this one is definitely darker and this one is slightly lighter. Those two, I can't really tell the difference. They look exactly the same to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and test. I still am using these. These are the little green strips. And these I've noticed I've had to dip for longer. It's like between five and 10 seconds. Otherwise it doesn't like absorb enough. That little absorbent pad doesn't really work the greatest, but the tests clearly work great because they are picking up differentials that the pregmates are not quite. So I guess we'll see if we still have anything on the test line this go around. It'd be really great if this morning the test line was no longer showing anything and it went to negative. So I can know that I can actually start testing just because I feel like I need to get a negative to be able to trust any future tests as positive. Now if that doesn't happen and I continue to test and my lines start getting darker again obviously I know what's going on but I definitely didn't want to take a break in testing the trigger out because I wouldn't be able to know if it was a new positive as in pregnancy or still the trigger in there. Also Jeremy has definitely been clocking my cycle. He's getting very excited about testing. He brought it up the other day and is really looking forward to seeing how this cycle turns out. And that's new. I think after him actually going to the appointment, learning how to do the shot, all that type of stuff has made him feel, or he said that it's made him feel more, what was the word he used? I can't remember the exact word he used, but it made him feel more included in the process and more like he was a part of the process, which is great for both of us. But I can tell that like with him going to the appointments and stuff and taking the vitamins, his level of investment has to an extent increased as well. Just from the standpoint that he really has a better understanding of what I've been doing for like the last 10 to 11 months with, you know, dietary changes, not really indulging in coffee, not eating certain foods. Like he's now really starting to get the changes that I've made and the efforts that I've been putting forth. It's been nice. It's been really nice and, I, and I'm happy that he's excited. He basically said that the miscarriage kind of knocked the wind out of him as far as his excitement levels were concerned. And now that he feels like we're making progress again, he's starting to get that excitement back which is really nice because that miscarriage pretty much ripped every ounce of excitement out of him that he had towards a pregnancy at all. So it's all good things, guys. It's all great to hear. This cycle is going really, really well thus far. Okay, guys, so the test is done and I'm just gonna turn my light down because I know you're not gonna be able to see it with my light turned up. Okay, so I turned my light down some so hopefully you guys can see it. There is still a faint line on this test. You guys might not be able to see it, but it's still pulling pink. So I'm just gonna show it to you guys now. There is still a faint line there. It's super, super faint, so you might be able to see it now. But there's still a faint line there. It's still pulling pink. Yeah, it's, it's definitely still pulling that pink. I'm going to take a Pregmate only to see how it compares to this because this is like really, really almost negative. So it's definitely lighter than yesterday's test. We'll have to see how they compare once it dries, but it's still definitely lighter than yesterday's. I'm just going to go ahead and 
dip a pregmate. That way I can see how they compare because the pregmates are what I'm gonna wind up testing with anyway. Here, of course, is my blank test. As you guys can see, that's starting to go across. I'm not as like careful about how I use these considering I know that something's already gonna show up, but I'll be back as soon as this test is done. Okay guys, so this one is still showing pink as well. Like I said, I'm not gonna be sure that you guys can actually see it but maybe if I tilt the test a little bit, you'll be able to see it versus it straight on. But I'm pretty sure y'all can still see that. Slightly thinner, but it's definitely still there. So I think I have at least, at least one or two more days before the trigger is fully out of my system or before I start seeing a true positive. So I will just continue to test. When these go to negative, I will check back in with you guys. When they are completely at negative, I'll check back in with you guys and let you know what's up. And then I'll start testing. But overall, I'm feeling really, really good, you guys. Like, I'm really happy. I'm really excited. Jeremy and I are in a fabulous place right now. The holidays are done, so all of that stress is kind of gone. And I'm just in a really, really, really good space. I do apologize for, I guess, not being as active in my comments as I normally am. Over the last, I would say, about three weeks, I have not been getting back to you all. And it's not for lack of trying. It's simply because the kids have been here I've had things that we've been taking care of and I honestly needed just some overall rest. The holidays were a very busy time and it was important for me to take a step back and take a little time just for myself to rest, to spend time with the family, to do things like playing video games with the kids and make sure that we have that one-on-one -on -one time where I'm not on a phone or on computer replying the comments or doing something YouTube related. That was really 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 important to me while they were here and also just to take this time with Jeremy and take advantage of it while he is healing up and resting up off of work because he will soon be stepping into a new career or in the next couple months so I might not have as much of that time. So while I am a bit apologetic that I haven't been as interactive and engaging on here, I am also doing what's best for me and what's best for the family right now. So I know that most of you will understand. I feel like if anyone can't understand that, then I don't really know what to tell you, but my family is always going to come first and I'm always going to come first as a priority. I love, love, love sharing my journey with you guys. However, it's a lot of work. It's definitely a lot of work. I spend a lot of hours at the computer between editing and putting stuff out and all that type of stuff, doing thumbnails. All, all of it is a lot of work. So I know I haven't really said much about it on the channel thus far, but we have just been kind of being in our own little zone and our own little I guess kind of happy bubble if you will so that's pretty much why I haven't been as uh, active on here lately but it's gonna pick back up in the next couple weeks I'm gonna get back to a routine of just being more active. I normally respond to each one of your comments and lately that hasn't been the case, but things are gonna be returning to normal in the next few weeks. So I just wanted to let you guys in on that. But like I said, I will check back in with you guys when these tests fully go to negative. Welcome back guys, it is cycle day 24 and I figured I would go ahead and check back with you guys because I think we are officially gonna go ahead and wrap this up. So I went ahead and tested this morning, it's 11 days past trigger and this morning's test looks exactly the same as the last two tests. So, well, let me rephrase that. It looks exactly the same when it's dried. When I took it this morning and it was actually within the testing window, the test did appear to be negative or at least as close to negative as I think it's going to get at this point. Like I said, I'm about to show you guys the progression, but the last three days, once the tests dry, they look exactly the same. So I don't necessarily know that I am going to officially see what looks like a complete stark white negative on these tests. I really don't know because I've never used them outside of the first day I used them, which was to start testing out my trigger, but I'll go ahead and show you guys kind of what my progression is looking like so you can see exactly what I mean. Okay, so we're at, of course, cycle day 24 and 11 days past trigger. Now, if you look at these, I'm gonna to try to get as close as possible, but if you look at these, the last three days, pretty much all look the same. At least they do to me as far as 
the progression is concerned. I really don't think there's any progression at all. They look almost identical as if I took all three of them on the same day. Now, if you go up to 8DPT, which was what, four days ago, that one actually looks a little bit darker than the bottom three. So I was still getting some differential there, but I would say it typically only took each time about two days for the lines to start getting notably lighter. So as you can see, these even have a differential at the very top, but they look pretty similar. Then the next two definitely look lighter. Then the next two, by that bottom one, it starts to look lighter. The next two, again, by that bottom one, it starts to look lighter. But then when we get to these three, they pretty much all look exactly the same. So with that being said, I think I'm just officially done with testing out the trigger. I, like I said, I don't know if the lines are going to get any lighter progression wise until they either go completely negative or the alternative, which I'm very hopeful for, that they in fact never go negative, but instead start getting darker. So that's really what I'm hoping for that in the next couple of days I will see the test lines getting darker instead of lighter and I'll be just as satisfied with that but it'll definitely have to still be in comparison to these lines that I've been getting over the last couple of days I'm definitely still gonna have to compare it to these tests in about three days i will hit my 14 day mark now that is about the time frame that they say that the trigger should be completely 100 percent out of your system because there's different dosages but if you've done the 10,000 one, it says that it takes about 14 days for that to be out of your system of course we all metabolize medications at different rates so i'm sure there are women who it was out faster maybe in anywhere from seven to ten days for them and i'm sure there's other women that it took either the full 14 days if not maybe longer i really don't know where i fit into that category since this was my first cycle doing the trigger so we will just have to wait and see i think that i will trust whatever result i get if i wind up getting a positive in the next three or four days i really think i'll be able to go ahead and trust that as a true positive but like i said it's still going to be very 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 much in comparison to the progression of the trigger going out of my system so yeah guys it's a it's a really exciting time it's a really good feeling and i feel great about what's going to happen in the next couple days i'm really really optimistic very very hopeful and overall i'm happy I've, I've had a very happy cycle so i think this is the best cycle we've had in months on both my behalf and jeremy's behalf he's in a really good mood i'm in a really good mood we definitely got maximum coverage down so that's awesome in itself and it's like i said it's just been a really really good cycle so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up here you already know the drill if you liked it go ahead and give us a huge thumbs up subscribe to join our tribe hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads ladies of course i am sending you guys lots and lots of positive vibes loads and loads of sticky golden baby dust congrats to all the new mamas who recently have been getting their bfp I am thinking of all of you guys. I'm hoping all of your appointments go well and I am just sending all of you guys lots and lots of love. So I'm really excited about what the next few days hold. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.